My name is Charles Parrott and I'm the historical architect at the Lowell National Historical Park. Lowell was such a model for that kind of American industrial development. But after uh, the respite of World War I, uh, by the mid-20s, uh, they began to see the first closures even before the recession. The revival began in the, in the late 70s, in large part uh, a result of sort of this new uh, vision for the city based around uh, the development of, you know, of, of a park. Lowell certainly went through its own urban renewal process, uh, which did result in the demolition of some important historic buildings. But after all said and done, still about half of that square footage of the mill buildings remained in Lowell. Well, in the early days, uh, I think the hope was to uh, reuse uh, at least a part of those buildings for, for commercial uses. The, one of the, the earliest project that was done with a commercial uh, reuse intent was the Juan Lancet uh, Mill Rehabilitation, uh, which was the former uh, Suffolk Manufacturing Company. The, uh, the substantial reuse of, of, of you know, much of that square footage for, for commercial purposes just didn't really catch on. There's just really still too much sort of real estate competition for new buildings out on the you know, interstate highway interchanges. But almost at the same time, you had the first project that was rehabilitated for uh, residential use, which was a portion of the Lowell Manufacturing Company, which is known as Market Mills. And uh, that uh, project, though, was uh, entirely subsidized housing, which was a very uh, important project by, in Massachusetts at that time. And everything that's uh, happened since then it has been all for market rate development of one kind or another. Western Avenue Studios, which um, is part commercial and part housing, uh, but it has been you know, uh, quite successful as a kind of commercial development, as artist loft space. And in fact, the art, arts movement in Lowell has, has been quite a success in recent years. The park's influence has sort of set a tone for for uh, rehabilitation, trying to sort of retain and recapture the configurations and the look that those buildings had uh, in in the original construction, whether it be uh, in you know in the storefronts or the uh, the restoration of the cornice line uh, or the doorways or the windows, bearing in mind that you know modern uses have to have to be adapted to to that look. That allows us to en enhance our interpretation of Lowell as, as, a, you know, as a 19th century industrial city, both in its commercial and residential, uh, and its in industrial buildings in the, in the core of what was you know, the original Lowell.